You have reached the Sheriff's Department, Zone 6 Area Command. Officer Okoy, what is your responsibility as the DPO of Zone 6? Of course, to ensure that my division is in compliance with the law. Who are you to question me? Officer Okoy, I'm sure you are a mother. Who are you? Who am I? I don't know anymore. Yesterday I was the happiest man on earth. Right here, we were celebrating. Celebrating the arrival of my newborn twin babies, after 14 years of marriage with five miscarriages. The two that survived, are now been abducted by armed men. So I ask again, what is your duty as the DPO of Zone 6? We are gathering every possible lead, to make sure we track down these kidnappers and retrieve the abducted babies. Who kidnaps newly born babies, if not for ritual murder? Sir, please, let's be positive on this. Like I said before, we are gathering every possible lead, to make sure we track down these kidnappers and retrieve the abducted babies. I have already been granted two weeks off from work, which I was supposed to come and spend it with my loving wife and my twin babies. Officer, you have till the end of 48 hours, to fish out the perpetrator of this evil. Or consider yourself fired from the police force. Good morning from Hot Revelation TV. I'm Wayne, your favorite presenter. First up this morning, we want to extend our gratitude to the government for their commitment to improving our infrastructure. The ongoing efforts have indeed made significant impact in enhancing our daily lives. Now, let's turn our attention to Treasure, for an important update. Thank you Wayan. In a distressing turn of events, our town is facing a severe security threat. Last night, seven newly born babies were abducted from two different hospitals. Sadly, one of the nurses lost her life during these incidents. The DPO in Zone 6 has promised to apprehend this evildoers and ensure the safety of our community. Shocking news, indeed. Our thoughts are with the affected families. Now, shifting gears a bit, does ritual money exist? Can certain practices or beliefs lead to financial freedom? We will delve deeper into this intriguing topic later in the broadcast. Stay tuned for more on this mysterious issue that is destroying our culture. We will be back after a short break with more insight on this topic. Stay tuned. Ma, you asked to see me. Yes, according to the report you brought from the health center, the doctor admitted receiving the sum of $60,000 from a charity organization. Am I correct? All correct, Ma. $60,000 from Heavenly Jerusalem Charity Foundation. I want to know everything about that so-called evangelist William, and the Heavenly Jerusalem Charity Foundation he represents. Okay, Ma. Welcome sir, how was your flight? I hope you enjoyed our service. Good afternoon sir, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Let's go. Take me to any good hotel in Zone 6. Okay sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon driver. Forgive my manners. I have a lot on my mind. I understand, sir. What is this I am hearing, about three abducted babies from the general hospital? No, is not three. In Our Lady Celestina's maternity, four babies were abducted and a nurse was shot dead. Oh no. I feel for the affected families, most especially the family of the late nurse. Sir, here we are. All Stars Hotel and Suit. The best around here. Yes, I have it. Fresh ones. Excuse me. Good afternoon, sir. Loveth, is that you? Yes, sir, it's me. What about my wife, your sister? She has been crying since last night, the doctor has to induce her to sleep. So I took the opportunity to come pick few things in the local market, to prepare her seaweed soup. Okay, seaweed soup is good for her. Sir, are you back? Yes, but do not let your sister know I am in town. But, she needs you most at this moment. I understand you, but there is no better way to comfort her than to make sure justice prevail. I think I have a lead. I may or may not be right though. Okay, I'm listening. Yesterday, at one newly opened restaurant, I overheard this guy on the phone, receiving a job offer of $1 million, from
from his friend or associate, whom he called Killerman. What is the name of the restaurants? Who is this guy? What does he do for a living? Kitchen Republic, owned by one hard-working guy named Michael. While Lucas is the name of the man who received the job offer over the phone. Truth be told, this man is known to be a shady man. Thank you for this information. Continue with your shopping, so you can go and prepare the soup before your sister wakes. Remember, she must not know that I am around. Okay, sir. Scott, how much is my bill? Why is my TikTok not opening? Okay, let me reset the password. Which one is email not associated with any account? Oh no, let it not be they have hacked my email and hijacked my TikTok. Wait, Teddy Lawrence. Yes, I am Teddy. But I don't recognize you. You look different in real life. I am one of your active followers on TikTok. Rosemary underscore TT4. You can verify. My TikTok account has been hacked. I can't log in. When did this happen? I have placed an order for the red and black striped skirt you wore on your profile picture. And you promised to deliver today. My phone was stolen. Since four days ago, I have not been online. Hmm. I ordered for clothes worth more than $7,000, using your shopping link. Yes, mister, how may I help you? I called you on the phone this morning, regarding my missing twin babies. What have you done to capture this criminals? Oh, welcome sir. According to the interrogation from the doctor, he accepted receiving a donation from one evangelist Williams who claimed to represent one heavenly Jerusalem charity foundation. After a series of research, it seems the foundation doesn't exist. What about the money he donated? Was it cash or transfer? Sir, he sent the money through an online gambling platform. Is untraceable. I need to talk to the doctors of both hospitals. And if possible, get to meet the family of the deceased nurse. Okay, sir, I will invite them over. Don't worry, I intend to go to see them at their hospital. Okay, sir. Nurse, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I am here to see the doctor in charge of this maternity. Please, who are you? I'm one of the fathers of the abducted babies from the general hospital. Oh, sorry sir. Please sit. Let me inform her. Thank you. Sir, we have been doing massive giveaway since today. I was wondering, why leave our staffs behind? Kate, what do you take me for? That I put in blood, sweat and tears, to make money, only to wake up one morning to give it all out. If you or any of the staff are no longer comfortable with what I pay, you can resign. It's simple. I'm sorry sir. I'm okay with my paycheck. Good. Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon madam. I was told, you want to see me? You are the one in charge here. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you, doc. I'm Charles Stewart, the father of the twin babies from the other hospital. Okay, sir. Nice to meet you. Please, sit. Doctor, I am curious. Did you receive any donation recently? No, not at all. Then how did they got to know that you have four babies delivered here? I have no idea. The nurse that was killed, was she the only nurse at duty last night? No, not at all. Do you think, maybe she was the one that tipped them off, and they have to kill her to seal the secret? I doubt that. Sarah was one of my best nurses. I sent for her to prepare the surgery room for a weak patient that was too weak to push. She has this eagerness in her. I guess she was hurrying to execute the task, when she met her untimely death. They didn't just wake up and decide to come to this maternity. I'm sure they made their inquiries, and were certain they would get four babies here. Oh, God. Jonah. Who is Jonah? My ex-boyfriend. Yesterday, he was claiming to have received a contract worth $20 million and was ready to contract me for a night job that he would pay me 40% of what he was paid. What were you supposed to do for him exactly? He said home delivery contract. $4 million for one night delivery. I felt it at that moment, and I declined by telling him I had three newly born babies to take care of and that I was expecting two more. So he decided to come harvest from your barn. Jonah, it will not be well with you. How can I find this Jonah, 
aka Killerman. How did you get to know that name? Barman, please, get me a bottle of Heineken. Okay, sir. Here is your order, sir. Thank you, please, I was supposed to meet Mr. Jonah here. Has he been here today? No, he usually comes here in the evening. Okay, thank you. Don Lucas, himself. I greet you, big baller. Mr. Paulinus, come get me a glass of whiskey. I don't know who that man sitting over there is. But he is asking of Killerman. And what did you tell him? Of course, I don't know anyone by that name. Good, pour me my drink. Here it is. Thank you. Hello, brother. Hello. Can I join you? Yes, while not. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm Don Lucas, a freelancer and a trusted contractor too. I can take care of any job you can imagine. I'm Major Charles Stewart, the father of the twin babies you and Killerman abducted last night. I don't know what you are talking about. Who is Killerman? The man who contracted you for one million dollars, yesterday. I don't know what you are talking about. Let me find myself another sit. Since you don't want me sitting with you. One more step, and I will blow off your head. Move it, fool. This place is so beautiful. You can say that again. We will be chilling out on this island, for a while. I never imagined that I would someday be in the Bahamas. What our god cannot do, does not exist. So never say never. I'm going to ask you, just one question. Your response will determine if you will die here or live to rout in prison. Where are the babies you and your friend abducted last night? I truly don't know who contracted Kiliman for the job. He only paid me to assist him. What I know is that the man seems to be very wealthy. He rides in a limo. Gold color limo. That's all I know. Wrong answer. Wait, wait, don't shoot. All right, speak. In the state, only two people have that limo. The state governor and Larry, the chairman of CFDA. What is the password to your phone? 6969. I am going to call your friend. Invite him to the bar where I met you. Okay, sir. Dialing now. Dear, they don't sell dust here. Will you manage, Hooker? Okay, shisha with a glass of whiskey please, it's cold here. Get us the Hooker, and a strong whiskey. Okay, sir. Darling, someone is calling you. Who exactly? Don, it's safe with Don. Don Lucas. Give me the phone. The bad son of a good man. Big dog, where are you? I'm cooling off somewhere off town. What's up? We need to see, is very important. All right, location. Silver Lounge, of course. Okay, I will be there in the next one hour. Hello, Killerman. Mr. Paulinus, what is going on over there? A man came here looking for you. But on seeing Lucas, he arrested him and took him away? I thought as much. Do me a favor, beat me, as soon as the man returns. Alright, I will. But, is he coming back? Yes, he will be back. And please evacuate all your customers before his arrival. Thank you. How did you get in here? Does that matter? Larry, before donating all you are worth to charity, be aware that Oscar representatives has evoked the 26th law. What? On what ground? Your incompetence in managing your artist. I warned you to do the needful when you heard the chance. But you neglect my advice. Now he is at the other side. And you know that's not good for what we represent. What are my chances to win, should the 26th law be implemented? You know it's a vote of no confidence. 70% of council members sees you as weak and not fit to lead. I can't lose my throne because of a boy that can be easily replaced. There is only but one exit. I didn't make the rules. It is, what, 
It is. Enforcer. As your chairman. I command you, to grant me the honor to finish what I started. Okay sir, you have till the end of this day. Alright. I appreciate it. Sir, are you sure you don't want any drink? Alright, excuse me. Let me go carry drinks from the truck of my car. Damn, son of a bee. Caesar. I have been expecting to hear your shot. He escaped through the back door before I got here. If he is a cop, there should be trooping by cops now. Retreat immediately. Caesar. Caesar. Caesar come in. Caesar is dead. Who are you? What do you want from me? Your life and the life of your boss, for the life of my twin babies. What twin babies? The seven missing babies, if I'm right, that should be the father of the twin babies. What are you talking about? No, I must call 911 immediately. Please, I am pressed. I need to ease myself. Don't be shy, just let the tap run. You are the only one occupying that room for now. You tipped off your friend, and instead of him to be man enough to face me, he sent another. I did what you asked me to do. Hilleman has trust issues. I am sure he must have called the owner of Silver Lounge for confirmation. Please turn me into police custody, their cell is better than this. I have not made up my mind yet if I will kill you or let the law decide your fate. Killing is a sin, please let the law decide my fate. Alpha Delta, you copy. Copy you loud and clear, sir. I'm sending you a cell phone number. Please track the number. I want to know its location and the banking transactions associated with the owner of that line. A moment, please. Major, the owner is Jonah Peterson, 39 years old. Current location is on the Atlantic side of Harbor Island, Bahamas. What about his transaction details? Sent. Check your email. $70 million from Citigroup. Sender, Larry Martins. Yes, killer. Boss, I think we have a problem you must know about. We have seen 99, what is 100? The father of the twin babies is on our trail. He has captured my right-hand man, Lucas, and killed Caesar who was supposed to take him out. Who is he exactly? I just made my findings. He is a major general in the Air Force. Just, a two-star major. Killer, Larry Martins is a five-star general. No mortal man, can destroy me. Okay boss, but still double down your security. When are you coming back? Boss, there are more wonders to explore here. I don't think I am coming back soon. Enjoy, big man. Teddy. Raising two million dollars for us was a difficult issue. Thank God for mother in Israel. She has to sell her building to raise this money. She will go with you to your formal workplace. Thank her properly for her sacrifice. I will. Pastor, thank you too, for your prayers and words of encouragement. You are welcome, Teddy. Let me pray for you before you go. Okay, sir. Our Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, you made us understand that whoever you wish to save, no one can destroy. And whoever you wish to destroy, no one can save. I commit your beloved Son into your hands. For there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus principalities and power will succumb to our words. Amen. They will go and come back successfully, to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, 
our Lord and Savior. Amen. You may go now. Okay, sir. Alpha Delta, you copy. Major, go ahead for Alpha Delta. Get me the current location of Larry Martins. Copy you loud and clear. Current location, Head Office of Liberation Ground International Church, Wall Street Avenue. Thank you. Keep him on tab. It's ends today. Should I send back up? No need for that. I got this. <laughs> Hear me, you deceiver. You must not interfere. For every beginning has an end. I grant them both fair ground, it is my command. Who am I to interfere? Both souls are mine. 